Dearest Pen Pals, 2019 is coming to a close. It's a great time to reflect and evaluate the past year. The world of analog writing continues to thrive despite the ubiquitous use of mobile technology. More professionals, creatives, and students are rediscovering the joy and value of handwriting. What pens are they writing with? Join me for a look back at the top five pens of 2019. Here's my disclaimer about this list. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during the year of 2019. This isn't my personal top five list or greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the people of the online pen community. At number five on our list is the Platinum 3776 Century Roca Limited Edition. This is the third of the Fuji Shunkei collection inspired by seasonal scenery of Mount Fuji. In 2017, we had the Shengyo, then 2018 was the Kumpo, now 2019 is the Roka. The 3776 is all about Mount Fuji. 3776 is actually the measurement in meters to the summit of Mount Fuji. And Roka is in reference to the hexagonal snowflake that resembles a flower. Um, so what they did here was that they executed a mirror cut of the resin the transparent resin here was like cut to a precise pattern that looks almost as if you're looking at a crystal vase or like a chandelier that has been cut to a mirror finish. It just looks absolutely outstanding, especially when you twist it and you turn it around in the light. It catches all sorts of different glints from the light. Very similar to how the Kumpo also did as well with the wavy design that they had in the resin. So ordinarily with any Platinum 3776 Century, you have a classic cigar shaped type pen, great balance, great feel in hand, nice and lightweight because of the resin, and a 14 karat gold nib that writes awesomely. This Roca just takes it all together to a next level with this design and this limited nature of it being that there's only 2,500 pieces made worldwide and they're all engraved in the top little nut here that's at the finial of the cap. So this one here will have its engraving as a 2089 of 2500. And of course it also has the slip and seal cap mechanism that's inside there, which keeps the point nice and fresh between writing sessions and comes with either a converter or also the ink cartridges that are supplied as well. And this special edition came really quick when we had ordered it and we got basically half of what we asked for because we knew this was going to be a knockout. We wanted to get quite a few pieces, but the U.S. was only allocated so many. When they came, they went out in the matter of like a couple of weeks at, at best. Uh, so this was a stunning limited edition. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next year when Platinum does another version of this pen. So at number four on our top five pens of 2019, is the Lamy Safari Pastel. Now in 2018, we had the All Black, which was a special edition that a lot of people found quite boring and disappointing. And 2019, they heard their feedback, they heard the feedback of so many pen enthusiasts around the world, and they said, we need to bring back color. This is the first time ever that we've ever seen a Lamy Special Edition come out in three colors in one year. Usually it's just one color, in three different modes, ballpoint, rollerball, fountain pen, but this time we had three different colors in all three different modes. And they're all the same kind of pleasing, sort of gentle and muted tone. They also have the different various little accent points are also in the same ABS plastic. And they're just beautiful, beautiful pens that, I mean, they're granted not for, maybe for everybody as far as your taste is concerned, but definitely a step in the more colorful direction rather than the direction that we were in the last three years, which resulted in the all black, and then the year before that was the petrol and the dark lilac, which were all very dark, matte finished pens. Now we're back to the colorful and the shiny, sleeker looking pens. All three of these have the stainless steel wire clip, which is very easy to attach to your pocket, also has the stainless steel nib. So that's also a different 
take on where this collection was going beforehand with the black nibs. These pens, of course, do not come with a converter standard. They come with the LT10 blue ink cartridge to start with, but you can purchase them separately as well. These are fairly ample in inventory, so I don't really worry about running out of these too soon. Um, although I would assume that the next special edition that's going to be coming out would probably take place a little bit later in 2020. And that by that time, maybe these might still be around. So it's really not too much of a rush on getting these guys, but um, definitely worthwhile picking up if you do collect safaris and like these particular colors. Next up on our list is another favorite starter fountain pen from Germany. This is the Koweko Frosted Sport. The Sport itself is one of the quintessential starter fountain pens, just like the Safari is. It has the advantage over the Safari in its kind of smaller, pocket-friendly package. And this year they had come out with a set of frosted colors, which as you can see, have a bit of a translucency to the material. So this is a uh, injection molded plastic with a top finial here on the cap that is metal. And then you have, of course, a stainless steel nib or like I took off here, you have a roller ball and they also have a ballpoint and mechanical pencil modes as well. They also expanded this collection out with new nib sizes, calligraphy style nib sizes in other finishes. However, we can do a little bit of some nib swapping here and there. It's been very popular for people to get the double broad. I'm not sure why people are getting double broad these days, but um, I guess they really wanna see the color of their ink. But that's been pretty popular lately with folks is trying different types of nibs uh, other than the standard medium or fine that you would usually look at when you get these pens. So there's a variety of different colors available in the Frosted Sport. I think I'm missing two of them. I think I'm missing the yellow and also the white. Um, but uh, these are all pretty nicely colored. Very similar to the um, kind of drawn back muted colors of the Safari that we just saw, uh, but a little bit on the more vibrant side of things. So also too is worthwhile noting that we had crafted an exclusive transparent turquoise model, which is actually very similar to the material that we had used, or at least the color of the material, the Pantone color that we used with the Sailor Sea Glass last year. And this 2019 edition here is the Koweko Skyline Sport, which is called the Skyline because of its silver accent here and the um, stainless steel nib that's here. So this is a completely clear demonstrator. And you can see the little uh, inner sleeve cap that's here um, that helps protect the nib from drying out when it's capped. And there's a little cartridge that's inside here. You can use this as a cartridge or you could use it with a sport converter that is specific to this pen. This um, transparent turquoise is one of our favorite pens of the year. And you guys agree too, because there's 24 five-star ratings on this particular pen. And like I said, it comes in a wide variety of different nib sizes. I think double broad's already sold out on this design, but we do have broad, medium, fine, and extra fine. Um, there are nib sizes that are also available on, let's say the standard black version of the Classic Sport that range in the calligraphy style, which is like 1.1, 1.5, 1.9, and even 2.3, and the shadow nib, which is pretty cool too. So the Transparent Turquoise is one of our favorite pens of this year because it has over 20 five-star reviews and it's easy to see why it's a really great color it's great for both men and women and it's also with pairing it with all these other great new colors that came out it's just fun it, it's just fun it gets people into writing and it's a great little fun pen to bring with you on trips or when you're uh, you know on the go as you would be and need something quick to just pull out of your pocket and write with it at number two on our list is the Pilot Vanishing Point 2019 Tropical Turquoise, and this one is a stunner. If you're tired of me taunting you with this beauty for limited edition, you might want to jump on it now because it is going to be gone for good, and the U.S. market's probably not going to see a pen this great again for another year or so. Why? Because we actually get the chance sometimes to pick what design is applied to the limited edition that Pilot releases every year in this model. And in other years past, the ones that are not so good, those were not years that we picked. So the US got to decide that this was the design for 2019. And it is quite striking with a 
uh, beautiful kind of teal or aquamarine type of barrel that's marbled. It's a solid performing pen that is the world's best retractable fountain pen that's out there. Super convenient to use people who use ballpoint pens uh, or need a quick action or quick draw type of pen gravitate towards vanishing points and it's such a cool design overall very space age looking this pen usually comes with an 18 karat gold nib in medium point only and that's kind of a bummer so what we do is we allow you to put an order comment on the order form and request for an extra fine fine broad or a stub nib that this pen is usually available in if you get it in any other finish so and that's been pretty cool because people are able to get this pen with the nib size that they want and this has been quite the impressive pen to purchase in the year 2019. So no doubt if you've been watching our top five pen videos for each month in the year 2019, you've seen a Retro 51 pen or two or 10. And there's a good reason why. Retro 51 has been one of our most successful brands this year and we've had so many different types of designs because we work closely with them, we collaborate. This year, they improved on their fountain pen which was introduced at the National Stationery Show earlier this year. It now comes with a Yovo number no. six size nib and a new contoured grip section that is just a bit more easier to hold and to write with than the previous grip section that was on Retro 51 fountain pens. Now this one is the New York City Skyline fountain pen, which was the fountain pen version of the Skyline that we did the first edition that we did 333 pieces of back in 2018. And this is the fountain pen version, which also glows in the dark, one of our more successful releases this year. Also, you had Retro 51 Popper releases, which are done in the rollerball mode, um, but they also had their first fountain pen popper, which was the Apollo 11, done in commemoration of the 50th anniversary moon landing, which was back in July. Perfect release, perfect timing, awesome price point for a limited edition, and the design, of course, was done in a fountain pen with the Saturn V rocket, which Chris will help me out with throwing some maybe some b-roll or something that we have uh, previously that uh, that we could show on the screen of what that looked like. So other poppers worth noting, which are limited editions essentially, are the stand, which was an ice hockey rink. It was a marbled acrylic barrel that was white and had the markings of an ice hockey rink on there. Then you had the birds and the bees, the shield, which was done in honor of the uh, police, and also old school, which was done in the fashion of a school bus. We also had the Retro 51 and Gold Spot pens exclusives, which I'm holding here is the Tokyo Skyline, which is expanding on our Skyline collection of glow in the dark rollerball pens. Then we also have our Blue Lagoon, which is part of the Ombre collection. And then we also have the Christmas in New York City, which is also part of the uh, Skyline collection as well. It glows in the dark and has the New York City Skyline on there. Retro 51 tailors this individuality, this sense of unique identity uh, to a wide range of interests. So not only do you have things that we have here with the Skyline or, or with like an ombre, uh, which goes on along the fashion and the nail and, and, and hair design and things like that, but you also have things that are based on the Smithsonian uh, history, uh, military history, you have uh, space and science, and you have so many different topics uh, to really hold on to and that can connect with a potential writer, connect with just an everyday person and make them want to write. And that's really, the, I feel, the key to their success and that's the reason why they get the top spot this year because they have gone through and really connected with a larger base of people than you would with anything else that uh, we could think of on our list. So there you have it folks, your top five pens of 2019. What pens will rock the world of writing in 2020? We could expect big brands like Lamy, Pilot, Pelican, and Sailor to introduce new and exciting colors in the most popular models like the Safari, Vanishing Point, Sovron 800, and 1911 respectively. Goldspot will continue producing exclusive collaborations with your favorite pen makers. Plus, I'm sure there'll be a surprise or two that we can't even predict. To keep up to date on all the latest new releases, sign up for our free email newsletter using the link in the description below. Thanks to all of you that support Goldspot pens by liking, subscribing, and placing orders on goldspot.com. Happy New Year and stay inky, my friends. Take care.